steal on a used car tonight at 5. Dick Van Dyke in an all-new Diagnosis Murder. You'll have to see to believe. CBS Tonight. She'll show up. She'll call if she wasn't going to show up. Question, is this the most amazing woman in the world? No, but I can try harder. Why does it sound like you're in a pool hall? Because <laughs> I am in a pool hall. Listen, I just, I just thought I'd give you a shot and see how you were holding up. Jake McKinnon, you are my hero. But, um, things are getting really hectic around here. Look, before you go, there's something I gotta say. I, uh, I owe you an apology. For what? No, I, sh I shouldn't have jumped down your throat when you, when you tried to tell me about the black box. Jake, stop. You do not owe me anything, okay? I mean, that was a terrible way to find out about what happened to Vicky. Look, you were trying to help me out, and I, and I jumped down your throat. You know, it was the wrong thing to do, and, and, and I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought up anything about Vicky trying to contact us. Oh, that's the door. I gotta... <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you're expecting someone? Um, Abigail forgot her keys. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Sorry I'm late. No, uh, not a problem. I'm just glad that you agreed to come here at all. I mean, I know this is a really hard time for you, having just heard that horrible black box recording. Thank you. As a mother, it was almost unbearable. The second that they called me from the NTSB, I started reliving the entire nightmare. And I'm sure it was the same way for Jake, too. It shook him up. Mm. Bad. That's why I asked to meet you alone. Jake needs your help. We both do. Okay. What can I do? Weird things have been happening, Donna. Really weird things. And I think you might be the only person who can explain them. I... just have to hope that when that moment comes, I... I just have to know that you're going to find it in your heart to do the right thing. And what if I don't? Well, any choice you make today, of course, you're going to have to live with for the rest of your life. Uh, not just, not just you, but Hope's going to have to live with it also, because, of course, as her father, every choice you make affects her. But then, of course, I know you've, you've thought of that. That's the only thing that I think about. The only thing that I think about is how this will affect Hope. Well, then, of course, I, I am sure you've already thought about what's going to happen when she finds out about this, because, of course, you know she will. I mean, about your injury and everything. I, I, I know that you're going to tell her at that point how wonderful her mother has been and how she's really stood by you and, and how you recovered, uh, you know, with the help of... A wonderful doctor named Ben Harris. And I know you're not going to forget to tell her what you did to Ben in return. You say you love Denise and hope with your whole heart. I say, I don't know. I don't think so. Because if you really loved them, you would love them enough to let them go. And I agree with you, this love stuff is pretty confusing to all of us. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that I've always loved you with my whole heart. And yet right now, I, I don't really like you very much. But then I don't think you like yourself very much right now either. Even if I don't like you. Kiddo, there's nothing in the world. Absolutely nothing in the world that will ever stop me from loving you. So, now, I have to take my own good advice and 
I have to let you go. You are on your own. Dr. Harris, I'd like to... Dr. Harris, now back to the question. Um, when did you first suggest surgery as an option for uh, Mr. Dixon? Uh, it was in June, after Mr. Dixon had returned from Chechnya. He'd been in a helicopter crash that left him paralyzed from the waist down and in constant pain. And I took a look at his MRI at his request to confirm his doctor's assessment of the damage. And based on the results of the MRI, you recommended surgery? I advised him of all of his options at that time, as I do with any patient. And yes, I did say that I believe surgery was the best course of action. How did Mr. Dixon uh, respond to those findings? Well, actually, uh, his father responded first, Dr. John Dixon. And uh, what did Dr. Dixon have to say? Dr. Dixon strongly advised Andy to avoid surgery. Oh, in fact, he insisted that nothing be done until he could research the condition on his own time and investigate other treatment options. Now, how did the patient uh, deal with his conflicting advice? I don't know what went on between Andy and his father, but the next day, Andy came to my office, asked me to proceed with the surgery. And that's when you schedule surgery? Yes. Unfortunately, Dr. Dixon tried to have the surgery postponed at the last minute. But why? What happened? He felt that Andy had been unduly pressured into making a decision. By you? By me. And by Andy's wife, Denise Maynard Dixon. When Andy insisted on going ahead with the surgery anyway, then John tried to take his case to the hospital board. As you know, that request was dismissed. The surgery took place on June 21st. What was the basis of Dr. Dixon uh, not wanting you to perform the surgery? Did he doubt your ability as a doctor? Uh, no, he was... Um, he was worried about certain feelings I had for Andy's wife. He thought those feelings might impair my ability to operate on the patient objectively. Are you suggesting that Dr. Dixon thought you would purposefully harm his son? Well, I don't know if he thought purposefully, but he was convinced that on some level, if not consciously, that I really didn't want to see Andy walk again. Well, you are engaged to uh, Mr. Dixon's wife, correct? Yes. Oh, is Dr. Dixon correct in assuming that you harbored still some feelings for Mrs. Dixon? Absolutely. Hmm. Hmm. I still love Denise as much as I ever did. But I have never let my feelings interfere with my surgical expertise or my judgment in this case or in any other. So you still stand on your decision to operate on Mr. Dixon? I do. The operation was a success. Andy has feeling in his legs again, just like I told him he would. Well, Mr. Dixon has admitted that he has feelings in his legs now, but for the purpose of this board, we want to pinpoint exactly when those feelings started to return. Can you answer that question, Dr. Harris? You are amazing. 
Is there anything you can't do? Your baby's growing quickly, so it's no wonder that by the time he's four months, his calcium needs increase more than 50%. That's why there's Carnation Follow-Up, the only formula with the extra calcium active babies need, plus savings up to 20%. Sorry, no driving till you're 16. Carnation Follow-Up from Nestle, also available in soy. Craving more taste, more variety? All you need is 99 cents. Introducing the new 99 cent BK Cravers menu, including our Bullseye Barbecue Deluxe, Chicken Tender Sandwich, and Tasty Mozzarella Sticks. Just 99 cents every day. We all do dumb things. Paying too much for car insurance doesn't have to be one of them. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We all do dumb things. Paying too much for car insurance doesn't have to be one of them. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The controls are big. The little guy. Tonka Mighty Motorized Trucks are designed with big hands-on controls, so they can work them like the big guys. And all Mighty Motorized Trucks have working lights and sounds. Tonka Mighty Motorized Trucks, each sold separately. That's tough. That's Tonka. I'm on my bike every day, no exception. With Quilted Always Ultra with wings, it doesn't matter what day it is. I'm protected. The deal is, Always is quilted. That means it absorbs lots fast into the gel core. Always is cleaner and drier than the leading maxi without wings. And I get way better protection, too. At this rate, I'll never need a car. Quilted Always Ultra. Cleaner, drier, always better protection. Every day brings something more That you just can't wait to explore Were my eyes that wide when I was your size Moms like you choose Jim You bring out a sense of wonder and discovery in your family And with Creamy Jif, you'll find the peanuttiest taste of any leading creamy brand Moms like you choose Jim U.S. Marines' forbidden love affair with Arab royalty, 48 hours tonight. In this political jungle, only one man stays the course. You are David. such a walk. David Letterman, a man for the people. Tonight, Dave goes face to face with George W. Bush. Look, I just want to thank you for seeing me on such short notice. Hey, no problem. Uh, <laughs> take a beer. No, thanks. We, listen, we're going to have a couple of beers over here. Jake, I hey, just hey, said no I'm, thanks. I understand that, Cass, but after you hear what I, what, I, what I have to say, I think you're going to want a beer. Okay, you got me curious. What's up? Come on, I, I hate to bring up broken memories. I just like to know what you went through when 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 Frankie died. In a word, it was hell. What else do you want to know? <laughs> I sort of feel like I've gone through my own hell since Vicky died. I've lost good friends, close family, and it always hurts a lot. Losing your soulmate. That's the emptiest, loneliest feeling in the world. I understand. I mean, I feel like I, 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 I almost made it through until... In... Until what, Jake? Thank you. They found the black box from Vicky's plane. That's rough hearing something like that. I heard anything. I mean, I didn't even hear Vicky's voice. I just heard the pilot's voice. He said goodbye to his little girl. He even, he even sang a, a version of uh, Beautiful Dreamer. You know what's funny? Is that he knew he was going to die. You know, which meant that, that Vicky knew that she was going to die. I had convinced myself that, 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 she, didn't, that she didn't suffer, and now that I found out that she did, Sorry, Jake. I, I didn't have you come here, so you feel sorry for me. Why did you have me come, Jake? Because whatever you need. You know something? I, mean, I just need you to tell me that I'm crazy or, 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 or that you that at least you went through this too with, 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 with Frankie. Went through what? I can't stop. I can't stop thinking about it. I mean, I, I actually thought I got past that. I, I mean, I'd gone hours, weeks without seeing her face in the crowd, but now, after the tape, when... 
Listen, it's like Vicky's back. I cannot get her out of my mind. I feel like there's, there's unfinished business between us, and I don't know how to deal with it. November 99, Crash, Walsh, recovered October 2000. Emily's interviewing Lucinda now about a crash that went down a year ago? I picked an apple. I sent the facts. This is about chemotherapy and living your life. This is about Procrit. If you're a chemotherapy patient and you feel tired and weak, ask your doctor about Procrit. I played a game. Procrit is a natural way to regain red blood cells lost during chemotherapy. And more red blood cells can mean more strength. I caught a fish. Procrit is safe and effective. In studies, only diarrhea and edema occurred more often with Procrit than placebo. Procrit is for patients with non-myeloid cancers. I went to the store. Call now and learn how Procrit can help you get back the strength you need. Your strength for living. Recently in Indiana, something strange happened. A family came to dinner when called. Meanwhile, in Boston, chicken Alfredo was served. It disappeared. These events were traced to the freezer, where this was found. Inside a meal with chicken and vegetables, kids actually like. Who could be responsible for these strange events? Oh, oh, oh. Green Giant Complete Skillet Meals. Make dinner a giant success. Typical dry cat food. Now whisk his new savory nuggets with the soft center. Perhaps we should try another building. New Whiskas with savory nuggets. What cats want. To celebrate the launch of our new everyday kitchen collection, I'm having a little party. And I'm putting all my guests to work. Mmm, delicious sauce bomb. We've designed over 100 new utensils, chef quality knives, and stainless steel pots exclusively for Kmart. Aunt Martha likes the green. Aunt Martha likes the yellow. Aunt Martha likes to mix all the colors. And all the new glasses. Everything you need for everyday entertaining. From my table to yours. Pepperidge Farm Sausalito cookies. Mounds of chocolate and macadamia nuts. Hey, if you're gonna have a cookie, have a cookie. Pepperidge Farm, never have an ordinary day. Jake, <sighs> grieving isn't like some kind of a rash. You put something on it and it goes away, you know? It takes time. A lot of time. You think you're okay, and then you hear a song that she loved on the radio, or you catch her favorite movie on TV. And... It's like a fair to remember. I mean, I used to need like three boxes of Kleenex to get through that one. There you go, and you're right back where you started. Mm. You know, it's funny, I almost felt like I was a human after, after I... I came back from New York. I mean, I went there to see the last place that Vicky had stayed. It's funny enough, I ran into Marley, and... She just had such wise things to say. I mean, she told me about what Vicky wanted and, and what she would, would need. And I was, I almost felt like, like, um... Vicky had sent her there to, to tell me to move on. That's all good. Right, and then right after that, I see it. You know, started seeing Molly, which was great and everything, but then there, there was... But you still felt guilty? Sort of. You know, so I went to, I went to Lasseter, where it all started, and I, and I told Vicky I loved her, and, and that I was... that I was moving on, and she'd always have a place in my heart, but I just... I felt good, you know? I felt like I, I was... I was ready to get... To beyond this and then and then you heard the infamous tape it's just so much more than that i mean i know this is gonna sound crazy but a few weeks ago when, when donna she 
she tell you what she told me? What did she tell you? She had been experiencing these. Experiencing these. I, I, I don't know what you would call. Visitations. Do you know, it's like, uh, she could smell the hot butter popcorn that Vicky, Vicky always made, only, only there was, there was no popcorn there. Nothing. No. And starts saying things about Vicky's spirit. What do you, what do you, what do you think about that? Well, that sounds like something our beloved Donna would say. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So I, I try to write it, write it off. And Molly, who is a total realist, the polar opposite of Donna, totally freaks out when she when she hears the tape of the pilot's voice. Who wouldn't? There's more. She swears she's heard that voice before on the phone, and and, and now she's saying that that's Vicky, who's been trying to contact us from from the great beyond. What do you think of that? Jake, please don't take this the wrong way, but. Are you starting to buy into this? I mean, do you actually believe that Vicky's ghost might be hovering above us as we speak? And ever since Jake heard that tape, he hasn't been himself. I mean, usually we can talk about anything, and this subject has been off limits. It's been that way with me as well. But somehow, sitting here talking to you about it, it's getting better. That's why I wanted to see you. I really do believe that we can help each other. Well, you might be right, since you're one of the few people that listened to that recording and you know how devastating it was. Do you regret hearing it? No. As hard as it was to learn the truth, it was a lot worse not knowing. It's just that ever since then, all I can think about is Victoria being alone at the end for those terrifying moments. And I know. Donna, I'm a mom, too. And my love for my daughter. Abigail and I, we had this connection. I didn't even raise her. I only met her last year when she was 16, but yet from the moment we saw each other, it's like we've known each other all of our lives. We do. We have this connection. Mm. This bond that can't be broken. It, I think even when one of you goes, Bond lasts forever. I... Mm. At least I pray that's the way it works. Well, you might be right about that. I, I find myself walking around talking to Victoria, and she, she feels so close. Yeah. Um, you know, Jake told me a little bit about that. He, he said that after Vicky died, that things have been happening that have made you feel connected to her. Oh, he didn't tell you that. I'm embarrassed. No, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be, because I am telling you, I am thinking that these feelings aren't just feelings. You smelling the popcorn in your apartment? Well, yeah. I mean, Jake thinks I'm I'm crazy, but it's as if Victoria was with me again, and it was real, and it felt so good. And you probably think I'm crazy too. If you're crazy, well then so am I. Because lately I've been feeling Vicky's presence myself. Sounds of the world. What is this? Junk. Junk. You know all this junk people send me, hoping against hope I'll find it newsworthy. November 99, Walsh plane crash. Call me crazy, but doesn't this have to do with Lucinda's plane that went down a year so ago? So what? I mean, what if it does? So why did you just tell me it was junk someone sent you? Because it is. You know the way the intruder worked before I took over? They'd print anything remotely connected to Oakdale's Rich and Famous. So I'm guessing that when Lucinda's plane went down, some joker fabricated this tape to cash in on the crash. And what makes you so sure it's a fake? You heard it yourself. What could it possibly mean? I don't know. I want to hear it again. No. Chris, give me the tape back. No, I want to hear it again. Give me the tape and just stop it. Emily, I work for this paper. If there's a story here, I have a right to know. Fine. But do not make a big deal out of this. The voice on the tape. It's the pilot who was flying Lucinda's plane when it crashed. This is a copy of a black box recording? Yeah. Well, why do you... why do you have it? It was sent to me by some low-level person at the NTSB. Apparently, this guy used to send this kind of tape to the intruder all the time. The editors would toss him a couple bucks if they used it. And what do you plan on doing with it? Nothing. 
nothing. I'm going to... I'm going to give it back to him. You know, it's old news. There. You satisfied? Can we please drop the subject? I can. Can you? And what's that supposed to mean? Jake McKinnon's wife died on that plane. We all know you sit up and take notice whenever Jake is involved. So, what are you really planning on doing with that thing? I'm going to my meeting. End of discussion. Mr. Dixon, Dr. Harris testified that you gave your consent to the operation in question. Do you agree with that statement? Yes, I told him to go ahead with it. What about the post-operative exam on July 5th? Uh, do you remember anything about that? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. According to Dr. Harris, that examination provided compelling evidence that the operation was a success, that your reflexes were indeed returning. But Dr. Harris also testified that you claimed to have no sensation in your legs at that time. Do you recall any of that? Yes. Dr. Harris went on to say that when you were examined on July 25th, Dr. Dietrich, the consulting surgeon, found no evidence of improvement and concluded it was impossible for you to have any feelings in your legs at all. Mr. Dixon, it is imperative that we develop a timeline as far as the healing of your legs and spine. Now, can you tell the board whether you've had any feelings in your lower extremities, any, any feeling in your legs at all? Yes, I have. And can you tell us the approximate date when those feelings started to return? Uh, Rex, if I might. Dr. Dixon, please, your son. Uh, is... I, I just wanted to point out that when Andrew first began experiencing these sensations, well, he was a little confused about it. As a matter of fact, in the beginning, he mentioned them to me because he thought his mind might be playing tricks on him, wishful thinking or something like that. So I'm just trying to say that it's very difficult to pinpoint exactly when it started. But, Andrew, what would you say? Wasn't it about a week ago that you started to have feelings? Didn't we, isn't that we estimated that it was about a week ago that, uh, well, give or take a week, that you started to have feelings in your legs? Isn't that right? Grill in your grilled cheese sandwich. Put your finger on butter Pam. And for your popcorn, it's a great alternative to butter or margarine, giving it the finishing touch it deserves. Butter Pam really cooks. What it is. What it feels like. What it is. What it feels like. What it is. We know what social anxiety can feel like, and Paxil can help. Over 10 million people suffer from overwhelming anxiety that significantly impairs work or social life, and a chemical imbalance could be to blame. Paxil, the only medication proven effective for social anxiety disorder, works to correct this imbalance. Paxil is not for everyone. Tell your doctor what medicines you're taking. People taking MAOI should not take Paxil. Paxil side effects may include decreased appetite, dry mouth, sweating, nausea, constipation, sexual side effects in men and women, yawn, tremor, or sleepiness. With time, your doctor's help, and Paxil, life can feel like life again. Paxil, your life is waiting. We literally make billions of coins here at the U.S. Mint, but each one is special. I designed the Virginia Quarter, which is part of the 50-state quarters program. This technology is like 100 years old. The depth and the detail that we capture is incredible. We're putting out five state quarters each year for the next 10 years. And each quarter is a minute for about 10 weeks only. If you want to collect them, the Mint has coin sets and maps to help you get started. If we haven't gotten to your state yet, uh, you can bet that it's coming. I can't let a bladder control problem get in the way of my job. I tried Serenity. Serenity has a larger dry layer front to back. Liquid is quickly pulled in, helping prevent leaks. I feel protected. Protection, confidence, Serenity. See how beautiful 60 can look. See how invisible osteoporosis can be. If you're over 60, there's a nearly one in two chance you have it. So ask your doctor about a bone density test and treatments that can help. Just wanna say how I missed you all day. So I'm baking big old biscuits. They're the heart of the meal. My heart to yours. Her 
intelligence guided a president. Her grace captivated a nation. Her courage inspired the world. CBS presents the untold story of Jackie Bouvier Kennedy Onassis, the 20th century's first lady. Are you ready? I hope so. Joanne Wally, Tim Matheson, Tom Skerritt, Francis Fisher in a miniseries event. It's been an extraordinary journey. There will never be another Jackie. CBS Sunday, November 5th. Married to one man, tempted by another. I can't even understand that level of betrayal. Then, Dr. Laura sounds off about alcoholic behavior. Troubled lives, hopeful solutions. Watch the next Dr. Laura. Today at 3 on CBS 2. Attention, Firestone and or Ford Explorer customers. If you suffered serious injury or a loved one has suffered serious injury or was killed in a rollover or tire blowout accident, you may be entitled to full compensation and punitive damages against Firestone or Ford. Call attorney Larry H. Parker at 1-800-333-0000 for a free consultation. There is no cost to you until your case is settled. Call today before it's too late. We'll fight for you. Why are people in the South Bay jumping for joy? It's the grand opening of Sit and Sleep's 8th Superstore in Torrance. Don't miss our grand opening sale with the lowest prices of the year, featuring premium queen-size sets from Simmons, Sealy, Serta, and Spring Air. Elsewhere at up to $6.99, now just $3.77. Plus, no deposit, no interest, and no payments for one year. Call 800-675-3536. Sit and Sleep will beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free. How to get a good deal on a used car tonight at 5. Sissy Spacek and Bo Bridges star in Songs in Ordinary Times, CBS Sunday. Well, you correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that what it was? Didn't we estimate that it was about a week ago? that you started to have feelings in your leg. And if you just say that, you know, to Mr. Whitmore and to the rest of the hearing... No! No! I can't. I can't lie. I won't lie anymore. Now listen, Andy. Do you want to know the truth? Uh, Do you want to know the truth? I have been able to move my legs for more than one week. For months. For months? Mr. Dixon, you were operated on... on June 21st. And now you say you've had feelings in your legs for months? Well, how soon are we talking about after the operation? To be as specific as you can. I remember it. I remember it very clearly because I remember the exact day. It was July 5th. It was the day that he examined me. And I woke up and I could feel my legs. It wasn't just a vague sensation. I could feel my toes and you were right. Okay? You were right. And you were right about everything from the beginning. It was a success. Mr. Dixon, we want to thank you for your honesty. But why did you hide your progress from Dr. Harris? Yes, what did you have to gain? I had my reasons. Sick, selfish reasons. I, I thought that it might bring me something that I... I never could have. I don't think my son is in any condition to answer any more questions. As a matter of fact, he originally requested not to be at this... No! Place. No! Dad, let me tell them. Let me tell them in my own words. And then we can just be done with it forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry to everyone in here. After Ben examined me on July 5th, it became harder and harder to fake my paralysis. And I knew that Dr. Dietrich was coming and I thought that I would be sunk. So I had to get creative. I, I figured out how to give myself a spinal. And I know that it was risky and I know that it was stupid, but it worked. I fooled Dr. Dietrich. I fooled everybody. 
Uh, uh, Mr. Dixon, please. No, no. I can do it. I can do it. I never needed anyone's help. Dad, get back. Ben, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't. Ben, I have to tell you, I'm sorry. You did this. You, you did it. You're the one who gave me my legs back. You, you gave me my life back. And what did I do? I tried to ruin your career. And for what? It's because I was jealous that you might have the very thing that I could never have. Denise. Denise. No, Andy, wait. Denise? You don't have to say anything else. I have to tell you that I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. For lying to you, and you were so good to me, and you stood by me. And you showed me so much kindness, and I took advantage of that. You're Hope's mother. And my friend, and I... I just... I wanted it to be more. I, it wasn't enough for me, and I... I almost ruined your life, and I hate myself for that. No, 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 no. Let him go, just for once. Let him go. Look how long have you known me, Cass? Jake, <laughs> at least through three wives and four careers. So how can you ask me if I believe that Vicky's haunting me? I mean, look, Molly's a pretty intuitive lady. Maybe she's picking up on the fact that I'm still thinking about Vicky. That's, that's what I'm sensing. I mean, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm sensing in here, anyway. Well, that's entirely possible. So what am I supposed to do? I mean, what, what did you do about uh, Frankie? I tried to let go, just like you. And I couldn't, just like you. And at first, I thought there was something wrong with me. But then I realized there would have been something wrong with me if I hadn't missed her like crazy. I mean, we were as close as two people can get. Just like you and Vicky were. You can't beat yourself up for hanging on. Is it fair to other, other people in my life if, if I hold on to Vicky? You know, sometimes those other people have ways of holding on, too. I don't follow. If someone cares about you, they want to know all about you. And because Vicky was such a big part, is such a big part of you, they naturally want to know about her, too. Okay, so maybe that's what, what Molly's going through. Not just Molly. Who else? Miss Emily Stewart. <laughs> What's Emily got to do with this? Well, she's your friend. At least that's what she led me to believe when I <laughs> ran into her at Al's Diner a couple of months ago. Are you kidding me? That doesn't... Woman doesn't have friends. She makes superficial contacts so she can score in her in her intruder magazine. Please don't tell me you told her don't, anything. Don't worry. I know all about the intruder. I would never spill anything that could hurt you. But to tell you the truth, I don't think she was after a story. <laughs> what was she after? You, Jake. In a personal way. At least that's what I gleaned from my conversation with her. What did she say? She just asked a lot of questions about Vicky. been any other incidents other than phone calls oh yeah right after jake moved into this apartment the snow globe that vicky gave him was sitting on that mantle now no one mm -hmm. touched it no one was even near it and it just suddenly fell to the floor and smashed into bits really yeah and, and then just a couple weeks ago i was sitting on the couch and and i felt something poke me and i reached my hand in the cushion and i pulled out a brett now jake recognized it as vicky's but donna she's never been here she's never been in this apartment I don't believe this. I don't believe it. What, are you all right? I don't know. Oh, oh my God, forgive me. I am such an idiot. Why would I think that she'd want to hear ghost no, stories about your no, daughter? No, 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 you're wonderful and sensitive, and you were right to ask me here. We are on the same wavelength. Oh, we are? Yes. You're not going to believe this, but just a few days ago, I also found a barrette that belonged to Victoria, and I don't know where it came from. Then maybe I'm not so crazy. 
Well, either we're both crazy or Victoria is trying to communicate with us. Oh. I got a taste for cookies. Break, break, break. Break and bake. Toll House cookies. Like magic, squares bake into round Nestle Toll House cookies. Break and bake. Toll House cookies. Available in brownies, too. Oh, Balmex Medicated Plus Baby Powder. Balmex makes a powder? It's medicated to help prevent diaper rash. Plus, it has this water lock ingredient to absorb twice as much moisture. I'm switching. I'm keeping. Balmex <laughs> Medicated Plus Baby Powder, as protective as you. At the midnight, we gonna let it all hang down. Just one tiny Claritin relieves seasonal allergy symptoms for 24 hours without making you sleepy. So if you took one in the morning, after midnight, you'd still have hours and hours of relief coming. Claritin has a low occurrence of side effects, such as headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth, similar to sugar pills. Talk to your doctor about Claritin soon, but during regular office hours. What will he discover today? Well, with the new Play School Step Start Walk and Ride, Baby Power turns unsteady steps into great adventures. It's two toys in one. Play School. Come and discover. Presenting Trident Advantage. It's a different kind of gum from Trident. Trident Advantage actually replenishes calcium to help prevent cavities and strengthen teeth. For stronger teeth, Trident Advantage Gum. Welcome to a hot spot where pain and discomfort dwell. It's down at the end of Acid Street, the Hartford Hotel. Well, uh, your stomach's a burning, baby. The acids are churning, baby. You get it Hartford all the time. Uh, well, you change the way you're eating. You're getting exercise. You're treated for two days a week or more. The Prescription Prevacid can mean 24-hour relief from acid reflux disease. Prevacid turns off tiny pumps that produce acid. It has a low occurrence of side effects, such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, and nausea. Ask your doctor if Prevacid is right for you. So leave your heart behind. Yeah. At Angels of Mercy Hospital, there's no such thing as a typical day. A suicidal clown. So that'd be a million laughs. A 500-pound patient. I swear to cut through a wall and get him out the house. Who can't get through the door. Wait till you see how this one ends. An all-new City of Angels, CBS Tonight. CBS Friday on the new hit drama. I like you. This wouldn't work, trust me. If you think you know the fugitive, you ain't seen nothing yet. All-new episode, CBS Friday. I wonder what Emily's after. Well, uh, I don't know her too well, but I got the distinct impression that she was trying to gain some window into Vicky so that she could emulate her somehow. She's in for a big dis disappointment if she thinks she's anything close to Vicky. Jake, I'm sorry if I said too much. No, no, it sounds like you handled it right. I just wish I would have known about it a little sooner. It didn't seem like such a big deal to me at the time. Maybe it wasn't. Do you know that if Emily's interested in me, do you think she... She could be the one that's making these phone calls, freaking out Molly. You know the players in this drama better than I do. Good luck trying to figure it out. Look, uh, Lila's expecting me home for dinner, so are you going to be all right? Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming by. Yeah, well, I don't think I helped you too much. <laughs> but I do want you to know that I'm not going to say anything to anybody about you or Vicky again, especially Emily Stewart, until I get the go-ahead from you oh, first. Sounds like a plan. And Jake, I'm really glad that we had a chance to talk about what you're going through. I just want to tell you that it's absolutely normal. After all, it's only been a year. Years a long time, Cass. I don't know. It's enough time to erase somebody like Vicky. Not, not that I, I would want to. No. You'll always carry her with you, Jake. She's in your blood, just like Frankie's in mine. I'll see you soon, pal. Take care.
I'm sorry. Oh. oh. I'm so sorry, no. Mom. I humiliated you and no, Bob. No, no, no. The whole family. Honey, you took the high road in there. I mean, you stood up and you owned up to your actions, and that took enormous courage. I am so proud of you. You're proud of me? Yes. How could you be proud of me? Because I know what it cost you to do that. And because you made that choice yourself. But I hurt so many people. Oh, honey. Uh, everybody makes mistakes. Not everybody admits it publicly. You did. People will respect that. Listen, they're still conferring. They haven't reached a decision yet. What are you talking about? It's over. It's not over. I think uh, this will have some time to do I, some yeah, damage. I think it's control. too late. I think it's too late. Mom's right. It's, it's only too late if you give up. Why don't you give up? I had to make a decision. I had to tell the truth. You have to accept that. Ladies and gentlemen, will you take your seats, please? The hearing is back in session. Mr. Whitmore, has the review board a decision to declare? Yes, we have, Dr. Hughes. This hearing was intended to uh, resolve certain issues regarding the judgment of Dr. Ben Harris and his patient, Mr. Andrew Dixon. Now, no one who was in this room this afternoon who saw Mr. Dixon's actions could argue that the operation was not a success. Clearly, Dr. Ben Harris has been unfairly maligned. We find no wrongdoing on the part of Dr. Ben Harris. And we regret any pain and suffering he has had to endure. Well, Dr. Harris, uh, in light of the board's decision, I would recommend that you end your leave of absence and rejoin the staff of Memorial Hospital, effective immediately. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. I guess it was about a year ago something really different happened to me. The inventor of this machine, the torso track, asked me to give him one minute of my time. I did, and for one minute I did this exercise. I could have done more, but he said, that's enough. Well, the next morning when I woke up, whew, my stomach burned, my abs burned, my chest, obliques, and my back. I felt like I had spent hours at the gym. I knew I had to have one of these machines. Well, it has been a year now with my torso track, and I just want to say I'm in the best shape of my life. It doesn't matter if you're just starting to work out or if you're Frank Zane, three-time Mr. Universe. Torso Track will adjust to your fitness level. Now, how about giving me a minute of your time? Call and we'll send you a Torso Track to try, risk-free. Call now and we'll send you a Torso Track to try in your own home for one month, risk-free. If you decide to keep it, we'll give you a year to pay, interest-free. Order your Torso Track today. Call 1-800-254-6007. Introducing the new Peak Flavor Harvested Blend of Tomato, Basil, and Garlic from Mrs. Dash. It's 100% robust flavor. It's Bear in the Big Blue House new Love to Dance Bear. He sings. Cha cha cha, ha cha cha, gonna cha cha cha. Ooh la la, time to cha cha cha. He dances. The bear cha cha cha. And keeps them laughing. Cha cha cha. Everybody's doing it. Gonna cha cha cha. Ooh la la, time to cha Join cha the fun. The bear cha cha cha. New love to dance bear. The bear cha cha cha. He puts the ha in cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Pillsbury Toaster scrambles. Real eggs, bacon, and cheese sauce in pastry. Whoa! Toaster scrambles. They're the fuel a kid needs. <laughs> Critics are calling Pay It Forward the most surprising movie of the year. You're giving me a brand new Jaguar and you don't want anything? Just pay it forward. Three big favors for three other people. Kevin Spacey, Helen Hunt, and Haley Joel Osment are phenomenal. I smell horrible. No, you don't. You smell good. The best Oscar buzz of any film this fall, says the Wall Street Journal. Do I strike you as someone falsely nice? You're not even really all that nice. Pay It Forward, a mini-leader film. Rated PG-13. Starts tomorrow at a theater near you. 
She's Arab royalty. He's a U.S. Marine. Their daring escape to America could put them both in danger. Forbidden love, 48 hours tonight. 20 years ago, the angels failed to save this troubled soul. Sunday, they'll get another chance by trying to save his son. We're angels. All new angels, CBS Sunday. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming by. You don't know how much this helped me. Well, you've helped me a lot, too, Molly. I haven't really been able to talk to anybody except Jake about these strange feelings that Victoria's been trying to communicate with me. This isn't something you can say easily, and people look at you funny. <laughs> like, when I tried to discuss it with Jake, I know he was <laughs> trying his hardest to be patient, but I could see it was just making matters worse. Speaking of which, I really need to get out of here. I don't want Jake to catch me here and have to explain things that he doesn't want to hear. That is a very good point. <laughs> but I'll see you again, uh, I hope. Yeah, we have to stay in touch to exchange our ghost stories. Well, maybe one good thing came out of all this. I, uh... I made a new friend. Victoria had a way of bringing people together. Mm. Now you make sure and call me if you have anything to report. You know I will. Bye. Bye. Vicky, if somehow you're here with me right now, I am. Uh, I just want you to know that, that your mom and Jake and I, we just want to know what it is you want. We, we just want to try to understand. Exhausted. I'm just glad it's over. I, I want you to know that you are our precious girl. And we love you. And we love little Hope. And I just want you to get on with your lives now. Congratulations, bro. Hey, it's it won. over. Yes. Thank you, both of you. It's been a long day. That it has. Dr. Dixon. Mm -hmm. It's finally over. Liquid lip.
from Revlon Color Stay. Liquidy smooth, liquidy sexy. And kiss off? No way. Revlon Liquid Lip. It's a Saturday. Hey, you're flying away. Baking up some cinnamon. cinnamon. Feeling you'll be right back in. One place to go for everything you need. Toys R Us has all the best costumes, decorations, and lots and lots of candy. Toys R Us, the one place that's all for them. My Joseph loves to paint, so we've been taking these trips for years. But for the last few, it's been hard for him to breathe. My doctor switched me from an inhaler to a nebulizer. It's better for him. And Medicare covers both his nebulizer and medication. That saves a lot. That makes life easier for us. And we found something else that really makes life easier. Liberty Home Pharmacy can make life easier for you, too. If you or someone you love uses a nebulizer or inhaler and is covered by Medicare, call this number for more information. Hundreds of thousands nationwide have relied on Liberty for medical supplies and service. Liberty delivers all his medications right to our door. They build Medicare at our insurance company. There's no upfront costs, no forms to fill out. If you're 65 or older, have emphysema, chronic bronchitis, or asthma, and are covered by Medicare, Liberty Home Pharmacy can help you, too. Hungry, Rembrandt? Everybody's a critic. Liberty Home <laughs> Pharmacy, delivering better health. Unlike Juicy Juice, some juice drinks only contain 10% real juice. So we wondered, what would it be like if 10% were acceptable for other things in life? Obviously, 10% just doesn't cut it. That's why Juicy Juice is 100% juice with no added sugar. Libby's Juicy Juice, 100% juice for 100% kids. Somewhere in the desert, a kidnapped woman is buried alive. <laughs> and crime scene investigators have only three hours to find her. She's below the surface. She's here! The shocking discovery. Oh my god. On the highest rated new drama.